So unfortunately with the um, PC version, well with the PlayStation version it would save at the beginning of every level so you could start up right at the very beginning uh, if you so choose. Unfortunately with the PC it's all just uh, manual, uh, manual saves. Um, so we are being denied the privilege here of watching Lara Croft wake up uh, because I, you know, obviously I couldn't save until getting control of Lara again. Um, oh, hello. Um, yeah, it's kind of a shame because I actually kind of liked that. You know, I liked um, uh, watching her like sort of uh, come back, uh, to, like sort of regain consciousness and. Uh, uh, sit up and then uh, uh, stand up again because uh, <clears throat> that's kind of what passed for a little bit of uh, I don't know, subtlety? You know, nowadays it would be kind of like a sort of twitch of the eyebrows or some kind of like sort of uh, minor facial expression but like back in the 90s you had to um, uh, you had to like sort of show somebody waking up and standing up just to just to put a little bit of character into it, you know, like just to uh, to feel like um, you know, like she did take quite a battering from that. Uh, what was it? Was it a, uh, like a, a wrench or something that that guy clubbed her with? You do have to wonder though, why why did they actually lock her up in the oil rig? Why not? Uh, uh, why not just get really high up in the sky and then just chuck her out? I mean, she was unconscious, she would have drowned. <laughs> I, I mean, I realise that would have been quite an abrupt end to the game, but, you know, it, it makes more sense than locking somebody up in your oil rig uh, so that they can then go down and get the, um, well, what's the artifact called that's in the, in the boat? Is it called the Seraph? Yeah. So you really shot yourself in the foot there, Bartolo, didn't you? Oh crap. Down, down, we have to go down. Right, so first secret behind this, uh, behind this fan thing. Uh, this generally does not go well for me, but we'll give it a go. I think I remember that you have to go through that hatch there. Um, but we have to, like, don't swim directly in front of it. I guess that's why those barrels are placed there. It's like a sort of marker for um, where the safe area is. Hug the wall, hug the wall. <coughs> there we go. I do quite like the oil rig. I, I think I've said in a previous film, oh my god, air. Swim faster, Lara. Um, Oh, up, up, up. I think I said in the previous video that I do prefer the second half of this game, you know, like once you get to the monastery and all that kind of stuff. And certainly the, the level when you first go into the uh, into the door at the Great Wall, I love that level. Um, but there is something uh, really nice after the dank, dirty, dark opera house uh, coming into... Coming into the oil rig is actually quite a nice refreshing change because for the most part it is actually very... Oh god Jenny, it'd help if you actually flipped a switch. <sighs> um, I, the, the oil rig for the most part is very brightly lit. Uh, so you know, like... It, it, but it's still probably quite manky. I mean you can imagine... Uh, you can imagine that it, like every surface is covered in like sort of greasy, oily residue. But I like the dirty levels. Just as long as they're not... Yeah, that was another nice thing. That's the sky we're looking at. And um, uh, given that the, the first, uh, with the first game, the only uh, outside area I think, if I remember correctly, was the Lost Valley. And that was night time, so you were just looking up at blackness. I mean, that uh, 
that kind of stuff I didn't really appreciate at the time, the way you'd look out a window and you'd actually see the actual sky. It just made stuff a bit open uh, and airy in a way that the the first game okay. Uh, in, in a way that the first game actually felt quite, despite the size of some of the levels, actually felt kind of claustrophobic. Uh, but with here, you can look out a window and actually see some uh, uh, some feeling of the outside world. It kind of feels weird to have to say that after we've spent several uh, levels uh, in Venice, where we're outside. But you know, like stuff like that. It does just make a little difference. <coughs> well, by the way, what do we have? Do we still have all the... Two and four. Is that actually how many I had? Or have I lost some? <coughs> right. So basically we've got... Oh god, I've burned through so many flares in the opera house. <clears throat> you would think that they would actually turn the engine, like, I know we have to go flip a button to turn that off. <clears throat> you think they would actually, um, you think they would just turn off the engine when they actually got to where they were going, but, um, I'm guessing Bertoli's not an eco-warrior. Yes, that's what I was talking about in one of the previous levels, that you need to press a button on the oil rig to <laughs> to, to, to open a hatch on the plane. So what, what if they actually... Oh, that's why they never threw Lara out of the plane, because they would need to contact the oil rig to say, hey, can you press this button? Oh, there it is. Can you press this button on the oil rig so that the hatch of our plane will open? <sighs> Old school game designs, guys. Uh, where am I? Oh, yes. Alright, so we basically have to circle over at that. You know, it's not my favourite thing in the world when a game has you basically um, backtrack or go around the same path over and over and over again. I mean, I know some games can be very deliberately designed that way, uh, like the Resident, like the old school Resident Evil games where you'd have to be constantly running about. But um, oh, come on, Lara, it's a corner. <sighs> but you know, like, um, like, like a game, like you know, the bit in the first Metal Gear Solid where you encounter Sniper Wolf. Uh, and you have to go get a sniper weapon, so you basically have to backtrack a, a good chunk of the game to go back to the warehouse and get the the, the sniper rifle. I think even I think even Snake himself was kind of like, "What? I need to go all the way back there." Yeah. Oh my God! Shut off that damn noise. Go yellow alert. I'm kind of aiming for just past it, aren't I? Yeah! Uh, um, 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 hatch, there should be a hatch. Oh, there we go. Oh! Yay, guns! I'm like a blind uh -huh. man suddenly being given sight. Now let's go kill some people. You know, it's probably not the best idea to fly a plane that's got a, 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 a part of it that's going to just completely collapse in on itself as soon as somebody stands on it because um, it's probably not the most structurally sound uh, craft. Uh, back this way. Um, Lara, what? Ah, uh, it's one die. Oh, 
Oh my god. Uh, let's save since we have to go shoot people now. Uh, what's up with it? Oh, statistics. Um, save. Still, oh, hello. Still got my post it note up. Doubt two barrels would would actually cause that much rumbling, but it is cool that it's actually barrels in this one. You know, it's not like it's not like a big rocky boulder in the in the opera house. Maybe at some point when they were designing the game, they were like, "Yeah, that was actually a bit stupid." God, that bloody siren! Please tell me there's a button in here I can turn it off. Is that oh, that'll be the card I just picked up? Shoot them. Hey. Oh, I love shooting the windows. Right. Um decisions, let's go this way. Feeling something bad. Is, you just get a feeling something bad's about to happen. <laughs> That's a funny sound effect. Oh, oh, hello. Uh, insignia on his top. That's actually pretty good detail for a game of this time. Um, yeah, the, the, the squeaky sound the doors make. Oh. Um, yeah, the, the, the squeaky doors that the sound make. It, it, I don't think a big heavy door like that would go uh -huh. um, Oh. Oh, well I didn't want to go that way anyway. Ah, here we go. God, I think Lara's tits are actually getting in the way. <laughs> oh, seriously, were you actually locked in there? Lara, back up. Seriously, somebody actually locked him in here. Ah, harpoons. The most useless weapon uh -huh. in this game. Oh, sunset. Oh, blackness. Ah, see, it's nice. It's nice. Um, oh. Uh -huh. Uh huh. Ammo to weapons we don't have. They locked him in in the, the crew quarters. What absolute assholes. Maybe he pissed off Bertolli. So, oh, hello. Hi, Lara. 
So she's supposed to look like she's breathing, but she really just looks like she's kind of thrusting her, her, her pelvis out, or, like, or right, so doing a little bit of thrusting with her hips. Somebody left a comment on one of my Angel of Darkness videos, like, we're supposed to check, ah, yes, I was just about to say, we're, we're supposed to check all these bunks, because I think there is some stuff on some of them. Button. Um, somebody left uh, a comment on one of my Angel of Darkness videos the other day saying, you know, wh why is it, uh, why is it that they couldn't get the controls right, but the the um, the they got the the jiggle physics on the boobs, you know, like just spot on, you know, like you, you could tell Core really had their priorities right with that game. Oh bugger me, that's timed, isn't it? Who has a timed door on an oil rig? Admittedly, I've never been in one, but I don't imagine they've got many timed doors. But the jiggly boobs, it was uh -huh. probably a response to fanboys. Because, you know, that, that that was, I remember that being a whole thing. But, oh, did, oh, I didn't, did I? Yes! Oh, oh I've missed you. Um, but yeah, it was probably some some fanboys because I re I remember uh, back in the day everybody was so obsessed with like sort of um, I remember there being a God it probably still exists for the newer games but a uh, um, a mod oh there we go um, ah oh, the harpoon mm -hmm. oh uh, there there being mods for these games where you could you could have Lara be like naked uh, I mean why so why do we have to reduce women to objects all the time. Right. Up one of these bunks, I think. Oh, so, oh, oh, I'm doing this so gracefully. Do not trust slidey passages. <laughs> ah. Ah yes, more block pushing. <sighs> right, what are you supposed to say? Ah, push this one out of the way. Will not say anything about block pushing. <laughs> the uh, the fire animations actually do look better than they were in the the first game. The first game very very pixelated. You know, oh, one of the, the things I actually remember really really loving about Tomb Raider three was um, the the fire. I mean, it looked more. Um, for lack of a better way of putting it, it looked more fluid, you know, so it didn't look uh, pixely, it actually felt more like actual fire. And even when Lara went on fire, instead of just being like these uh, orange pixels bouncing off of her, it actually looked like she was... Um, of course the problem there was that, you know, like she would, she would brush past some fire and like her whole body would just instantly go up in flames. Um, and the blood as well, because of course in these first two games it is literally just pixels of blood. But um, uh, when you get eaten up by the piranhas uh, in the water, the way the blood kind of just flowed, uh, flowed through the water, I thought that was beautiful. Uh, Tim Raider does have a way of making death kind of fun to watch. Uh, once again an example of how Bertoli likes to live life the hard way. I mean can you honestly imagine him making that jump if every time he wants to get up this ladder? Oh 
hello there. Say hello to my automatic pistols, bitch. Ooh, red key card. Uh -huh. I seem to remember grumbling in one of the Angel of Darkness videos about, uh, I think I called it Tomb Raider bullshit of collecting key cards and opening doors. Um, ah. Ah, yes, we're back here. Um, but, you know, like at this point, I think it still kind of worked. I mean, this is basically just like a sort of uh, technological version of um, uh, just something like, say, St. Francis's Folly, where you have to get, uh, where you have to get the keys. Um. Oh. Back in here, was it? Oh, up the other set of doors. Oh, alright, seriously. Oh, fuck me. The dog, Lara. The. Ah! Damn it. I'm paying attention to my health. Oh, well, we're not too far mm -hmm. back. Hang on a minute. Is that. That's a ladder. Is that something I missed? Oh shit, Foxy Clara. Oh, we're going outside. How nice. Get some fresh air from all this like, musty, oily uh, sunset. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, how lovely. Right, what's my health at? Cause that dog. Well. That may have just been me fucking up, actually. Okay, let's go shoot a dog. Hmm. So it was through here and up the other way. Oh no, he has a gun. Oh, a waste of bullets. Why are you aiming at a dead person? Boozy <gasps> clips. Uh -huh. No boozies yet. I didn't accidentally pick them up, did I? We didn't have an M16 anyway, did we? Oh god, I want my grenade launcher back, so a harpoon. The worst weapon ever. Oh. Oh dear. <coughs> Again, the whole oil rig shakes because... Wouldn't that be great if I could actually shoot them? The whole oil rig shakes because a couple of uh, barrels are... Are rolling down. Right, okay, here we go. And yet she still does the turning the key and the keyhole animation. Oh, I can hear footsteps. Oh, hello. Oh, not with the alarm again. Seriously. Oh! <laughs> Sneaky. Shit's going on here. Uh -huh. Oh! 
<laughs> oh, screenshot. Screenshots. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's just about still with us. Oh, is this the room where the water's in one pool and you have to flip a switch to put it into that one and then you have to flip a switch to put it back at one point? Uh, I think all this stuff just really confused me back in the day. Switch about there to turn it off, is it? This is probably not the kind of thing I should be focusing on, but nice goatee on that guy there. <laughs> mm. Is he stuff like this? It just feels kind of, um, oh, should I do a running jump? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Sorry, Lara. <laughs> Sometimes it is kind of hard to tell in this game. I mean, I know, uh, for the most part, uh, Oh, right, okay, seriously. For the most part, the running and jumping uh, element to Tomb Raider still works quite well. You know, like, take a step back, she'll, she'll jump on the edge, but every now and again, maybe it was just me fucking up. Uh, it was. Like, every now and again, you're just never quite sure what kind of jump it is you're meant to actually uh, do. There you go. I swear she sort of floats in the air for a moment there. Did I hear? Oh, I did. Hello. Actually, when I was editing the previous videos together, I I did become quite self-aware that I keep saying hello to <laughs> to, to all of the uh, bad guys when they turn up. Maybe maybe not do that. Yeah. Um. Did I pick up a card? No. Okay. I was just asking. God. Alright, oh, yes, the switch. Right, okay. Can I shoot the... No. No, I can't. Because that would make life too easy. Graceful. Uh. Right. So I know it just filled up, but I wonder if there's. Do we actually have to deal with scuba divers in this level, or is it the next one? Oops. Ho oh, ho ho. That was close. <sighs> Swan dive. Is there anything actually in here, or is it just is it just a means to get? Oh, 
switch. There we go. Right, okay. There is a um, a trap door in the middle of that control room. Uh, that that doesn't seem like very uh, a very logical place to put a trap door right in the middle of a control room where a lot of people might be in. <clears throat> but maybe maybe that's just how Bartoli rocks. Maybe he just likes to um, uh, have his henchmen live in terror. You know, like if they don't uh, they don't do their work properly or to his satisfaction, he'll just uh, flip a switch and uh, open the trap door. I guess it's never a dull moment when Bertol is your boss. I think I did say in a previous video that Bertol is a bit of a crap bad guy because you don't really learn anything about him, but to be honest, I think we're actually learning quite a lot about him. We know he likes to live life... <laughs> we know he likes to live life dangerously. We can see that throughout the design of uh, pretty much this entire... Oh, I remember this. Like, oh, what's that? Oh, is that the, um... That's the gold secret, isn't it? So we have managed to find all the secrets again. Although... Uh, the, the stone one was just by pure accident. Mm, okay. Oh, hang on a minute. Is somebody shooting at me? Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. So we do have to deal with scuba divers. Anymore. Why would you have scuba divers in an oil rig? <sighs> Aha, thought I, thought I saw something. Yeah. <laughs> that was close. Yeah, I think you do actually have to, like, you are kind of forced to get into the water with them, but honestly, I just, I always just, um, aim for this one here, aren't we? I always just swam right past them, jumped out the pool, and then just shot them from the, s ah, shite. Right, okay. Well, we might as well go get the secret. Um, I just shot them from the safety of the pool side. You know, like, who's the person that actually, oh, was it this one, I think? Who's the person that actually relies on the the harpoon to to ever like? Oh no, it's that one there. Uh, in, in a combat situation, I mean the harpoon is the worst piece of shit weapon in any game ever. Oh 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 oh! I'm being shot at. Who's shooting at me? Oh, I can hear a shotgun. Who the fuck is shooting at me? Uh -huh. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, my God. <coughs> oh, wow. I got such a fright there, I didn't even see what I actually got from the secrets. Can I get them from here? Oh, fuck it. Oh, I can still see them a bit. Ah, oh, it's like they're just floating about in limbo. Right, what did we get? <gasps> Uzis! Oh, oh, my beauties, I missed you. Fuck you. Right. So... I'm going for a health pack. I'm going to figure out how the bloody hell I get back up there. Oh. Sorry, dude. That's a bit tragic. Right, one assumes there's a ladder somewhere. It's kind of over there that I came in, wasn't it? Oh, 
Oh, there it is. You know, you think they would have designed the ladder. I realise it's just flat, uh, a, a flat series of pixels uh, on a wall. But you think they would have at least designed it so that the steps would be in... Oh, come on! The, the steps would still be in line with uh, where Lara was going to put her feet. Because it does go out of sync. There we go. Right, let's just... Is he just standing there? He's just standing there. Okay, that's kind of weird. Let's let's just save first. I'm so happy now. That guy's just standing there as well. I love this old style of being locked onto uh, onto a bad guy. The way they, they move out of range, but the camera moves with them. I loved that. I thought that I actually thought that was so cool back in the day that you would still sort of know where they were. I mean, I, I, presumably that's some kind of unintentional glitch or something, but yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Hmm, hunting out small medipacks. <sighs> thinks there's a, a woman shooting at me, I should run around in circles. Oh, it's you two. Oh, you just got... Uh, you just got back. You get to live this day. The sound of uh, the, like the the background uh, ambiance in these levels as well. The way you get like sort of metallic grinding sounds, um, and I, I seem to remember there's another one that's like a heartbeat. Like that was um, uh, that made me a bit more nervous. That one, I always felt like something bad was going to happen when I heard that. But this one that's playing right now, the way it's all like sort of. jump. Uh, the way it's like sort of mechanical grinding sounds. Oh, I have to go that way. Yeah, I, I thought really effective and it certainly, I mean, the, the, the kind of um, uh, silence of the first game I think is very effective because it does, um, oh, there we go, it, it does add to the sense that you're going into a place that no one else has gone. Um, I think Tomb Raider was the first game I ever played where they did um, just have silence for the most of the level instead of just having some kind of uh, looping music and I thought it was very effective but um, uh, I, I think this game is very effective uh, having uh, having some kind of ambiance to just add to the place that you're in. Where the hell am I going? Back up the ladder? Do you have to kind of backtrack? What did I just pick up? Green. 
Oh, was that in the the room with the um? Yes. So where am I going? Oh, I should have done my twirly thing there. <laughs> I love those two are still walking about there. I guess you can't swim. Oh! Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, thank fuck for that. I get very nervous going up hills. I just wait for boulders to come running, rolling down and squashing me. Oh, I can hear alarms. That must be a good sign. Ah, ladder. This is an interesting camera angle. Bloody knew it. Oh, it's goatee guy. Uh -huh. I do like their trousers in this. It's like combat, the best of some description. Right, where are we? Ah. Oh, wait a minute. Ah oh yes, back in trapdoor room. Stay away from that trapdoor! Oh no, that's the pull switch, idiot. <sighs> Come on. Uh, it was over, oh god. It was over this way. Yes, there we go. Did I fucking do all of that just to get a door open? Really? Oh, because I can't get across here without that pool being full. Oh, good God. Right, so I needed that pool full so that I could go through that. Seriously, some of the level design in this game. <laughs> Seriously, why would you have the hatch in the middle of a, a, an underwater uh, 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 pathway in the middle of an oil rip? Oh, <laughs> it's a very abrupt ending to that level. Not overly complicated, though. Um, I, I, I suppose the stuff with the swimming pools and all that. I mean, seriously, I, I got a key card. I went all through. I went through all of that just to get a key card to open a door, which was behind a, a glass uh, container that set off an alarm if you opened it. Oh, good God. Anyway, whatever. Stay away from that trap door. Cause there's something down there. Bum, 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 bum.